Hello and welcome. My name is Kat Grady, and I am the artist and curator for the Wolf and Time boxes and the company. Today, I'm going to be opening up my Wolf and Time box for December, Winter's Woods, and give you a little bit of a creator summary background. So, all my boxes come with a letter, and I gave a little present discount code for the upcoming album my new band Sundan has coming out with the album Ritual and that is the instructions for a DIY candle kit and then I have my artwork which is the Cardinal and the Dara Knot then I have a little Yule ornament for you. It's made from wood and it has a snowflake on it. Represent the winter chill. And this is the kit. So I thought this would be fun. I'd make candles a lot for my boxes and for my spells. And inside you will find carnelian crystal chips with some really sparkly white glitter to represent snow, creativity, passion. And then I gave you a silver tin full of um, organic soy wax. And as many of you know, it was kind of hard to take off because of the <laughs> pressure. So you just have to pop it off and then inside is all the wax you need to melt. Then I gave you a cotton wick and a bag of uh, resin myrrh and some cloves. And you'll find out a little bit um, what you're supposed to do with this. But if you already got the box, you know. It smells really amazing too. Then I give you some incense sticks and these are in our scent rainy days. So if you check out the shop and you see rainy days incense, you'll know all about it. They smell really good, very earthy. And then this is our premium smoky quartz crystal we added in. And it's just a very powerful and grounding stone. I love smoky quartz. I always have one on my altar uh, for protection and charging and for clearing out any negative energy. Then we have the big item and I was so excited to be able to give everyone one of these because I just love soapstone and these are just beautiful uh, mortar and pestles that all came in unique colors. Uh, there's not a single one that's alike and if you've been getting my boxes for a while, you know that I like to give you individual items or I like to give a variety of things so each of you get different items. And I just feel like that's a little bit more personal for you so that it's not generic. And I want you to be able to feel like, you know, you're my friend and I just gave you something that was special just for you. So the mortar and pestle is to be used with the myrrh and the cloves that you got for your candle kit. And you just crush them up and that's what you're going to be able to use um, mixed up in your, um, your little wax mixture. And all the instructions are there, but also uh, some different ways to use the rituals of your candle. You can really make it special and unique to your own path. But you can see I've crushed some up here with my own little mortar. And they're really easy. You just smash it and you can grind it, get it as fine as you want. But that'll really release the aromas. And as you melt it, it'll really help uh, melt those as well. smells so good you can also use a leftover powder for other things too like just for incense or for ritual or for offering 
I gave you plenty in that bag, so you should be able to have some left over as well. You can see that the patterns are different on each one. Some people got darker ones, greener ones, light cream, just a lot of variety. And if you go to my shop, you'll see I have a lot of soapstone products. Um, as an artist, it's one of my favorite stones to carve with. I love sculpture as well. And it's just a great energy, grounding, and colorful kind of like paint. So I'm just showing you how much uh, wax is in there. So you can either melt it, you know, in your microwave or over the stove. And you want to be able to straighten out your wick and then glue it down. And I use hot glue, um, but whatever you have available to you, you want to make sure it's nice and dry. Melt the wax and then you're going to put the myrrh packet like your ground up myrrh and cloves in with the melted wax and stir it up. And I like to use a glass container uh, for melting my wax. I always melt it in the microwave. It's just faster. But I always have like, you know, 600 candles to make. So I got to get it as fast as possible. But it's whatever you desire. And then you pour it in. And that's when you can sprinkle your uh, glitter on top. And then once it's hard or harder, you're going to trim the wick and place the crystals inside. You just press them in there. And then you can put something on the bottom. You can put something on the top, like a rune or um, a special name that you have for yourself, your magical name or a spell. Or anything you want really you could just draw a moon on there or a leaf something that's special to you these candles are great to make for manifesting or for releasing but the elements that it came with are in your letter and it describes you know what the properties of myrrh are and clove and um, carnelian and why I selected those all in the letter. So, gave you the DIY kit as a fun project um, to bring light back in to our dark nights for the winter. Candles are just really sacred in so many different cultures and were used by the Druids, were used by, you know, all different religious parties, but also pagans for many different reasons but for this time of the year it represents the sun <clears throat> and if you have a yule tree you can hang this guy up you can write on it dates, uh, the names of your family, um, anything special to make it more sentimental. You can use the crystal and meditation or with your um, candle making project as a support with your magic. You can burn your incense sticks while you do your candle ritual or for meditation. The artwork, um, the in-depth description about the Dharanat and the Cardinal are in your letter, but mostly it represents the 12 days of Yule and the sacred heart of the oak. And then there's your mortar and pestle and you can put something on the bottom as well, carve something special to you, carve a symbol, or a name, or a rune. And then if you want to stop and pause, you can read this letter and see all the different things that I put in this box and why. But it's mostly made to help you connect to, you know, the winter magic 
and why Yule is important to us as a Sabbath and some of the things that you can do to help practice that. So thank you so much for watching and have a blessed winter solstice.